Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Starting with the winds, pretty strong, 10 to 20 miles per hour for the Snake River Plain. A little bit more gustier towards the west and in the valleys. Will be a lot more gustier tomorrow, especially in the central mountains. We're looking at 32 miles per hour, salmon, lead ore, especially. That's the highest wind speeds that I'm looking at right now. For today, central mountains, similar to the past few days, partly cloudy skies, but we'll have intermittent periods of more sunshine as the day goes on. Snake River Plain, more sunshine, especially towards the south. Treasure Valley, Magic Valley, a little bit more sun than the rest of us, but as you travel up north, partly cloudy skies, mostly sun towards the south. That's today. Snake River Plain temperature similar to yesterday, about one to two degrees within the range. 10 to 20 mile per hour winds will give a wind chill of 30s and 40s, but that's only going to be if the outside air temperature is below 50. If it's above 50, it's just going to feel like the outside air temperature. Today for the Central Mountains, we've got temperatures hanging out in the low 50s for the afternoon, so no wind chill in the afternoon. Mackey has a high of 49 once again. Wind chills outside of 50 below 50 degrees will be in the low 30s. For the eastern highlands today, most of the day will have wind chills, 20s, 30s, and 40s, since only a few of these locations will just peak at 51 and then back down. So for a couple hours, no wind chill. Other than that, expect a wind chill. Still a chilly day. Tonight for the Snake River Plain, we've got temperatures hanging around the freezing point. Only American Falls, Pocatello above the freezing point. Pocatello has a low of 37 degrees. So wind chills in the upper 20s is pretty cold. Central Mountains, winds die down just like the Snake River Plain. Temperatures all below freezing, close to freezing for chalice and salmon. Wind chills will be in the 20s. For the Eastern Highlands, strength of the winds also die down and wind chills below in the low 20s right here. Some in the teens if you're at Yellowstone. Uh, some, some will be in the teens if you're in the lower 20s, getting to the lower 20s. Lowest temperatures right before sunrise. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. What is going on is we have two systems on the horizon, one over one over the west, western portion of Canada and then one off the coast of central California. The first system will affect us Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to give some very light accumulation, probably a trace accumulation for some mountain mountain snow or snow rain mix. The snow level is at 7500 feet. And with a trace amount, that's going to be uh, mountain snow. If you are below uh, lower elevations, not expecting anything for the Wednesday, Thursday system. We have another system on the horizon. This one's coming from California. It's moving on shore Friday, but by the time it reaches us, it's going to be Saturday into Sunday. So especially Sunday for high elevations, we are expecting snow for 7,000 feet and above or snow rain mix around that elevation and also a chance of some rain for lower elevations. Now here is Yellowstone. Yellowstone up north looking at straight snow for the evening times for both situations. Utah's expecting two inches during these time periods. For us, less than that.